It's been a very busy summer, but recently the, uh, yeah, with lots of stuff going on between, uh, homeless encampments in Regina and, and, uh, and just stuff in the news locally that I could talk about or like stuff that I've been watching, uh, internationally or, or like federally <laughs> that I could talk about. But, uh, yeah, so recently, but the most recent one is the, uh, uh province of Saskatchewan released a new policy around pronouns and gender transition for youth in public schools. Um, <clears throat> So as you would expect from a backwards conservative provincial government, it's all about including parents in any decisions to use pronouns for youth or any name changes at school. Uh, so if your kid has a na nickname they prefer with their friends, then you probably will be informed by the school. Or if your kid is trans and they want a name more commonly associated with their gender identity, then uh, they uh, then you might be uh, informed. Uh, about that even if your kid doesn't want you to be if you uh if they request that the people at school start using different pronouns then you'll probably be informed about that um and the defense of this nonsense is you know the typical stuff uh parental rights kids don't understand what's real it's it's a phase um it leaves them open to grooming or what have you they uh it's by people who don't understand how education works. It's by people who don't understand how sex education works, for sure. Um, it's yet another conservative government placating the right-wing bigoted base by passing a policy that will harm trans kids. Uh, I should also mention the restriction against Planned Parenthood, handing out pamphlets or participating in sex education programs across the province. Uh, a few months ago, some reactionary parents saw a pamphlet at a school and declared on Twitter that kids were being groomed at schools. Um, zero people who use the term groomers against education actually give a fuck about kids' safety. They're, none of them do. Zero people. Uh, so, as a small province with a very small-minded government, we apparently do things because a single reactionary parent makes a tweet about it. So, <laughs> this pamphlet is now, and, and Planned Parenthood is now being under review by the government uh, before they are allowed to participate in sex education programs. And we can just ignore the benefits of proper sex education and the importance of a young person's right to choose abortion or staying pregnant because we have a narrative about grooming with zero evidence beyond a very chill pamphlet. It's enough to make me hate this province even more than I did before. Um, so if you're from Regina, there will be a demonstration outside of the legislature on September 2nd to protest the new policy. Uh, as of the date of recording, that is next Saturday. So today is uh, Sunday August 27th when I'm recording this and the uh, yeah so next week uh, I know there are a lot of transphobic people out there these days it's like the hatred of trans people is becoming more and more popular in all the rhetoric we see in the US and it's made its way into Canada which I guess shouldn't be surprising considering Jordan Peterson is the grandpa of modern transphobia he he made a big deal out of using pronouns that for students at uh, universities and he's been fighting against anything inclusive of trans people for uh quite a few years now uh i don't really have anything to say except that i can offer any trans people in saskatchewan my full support uh and if you feel you are in danger email me at mind of a skeptical leftist and i will reply and we can figure out the best way to get you safe uh i will even give you if you email me i will give you my personal cell number if you're in danger and need to be extracted from the situation um uh yeah so if, if any transphobes see this i suggest you learn to empathize with trans people and support the choices that others make even if you don't understand them it costs nothing to mind your own fucking business teachers aren't turning kids trans there isn't an epidemic of trans kids transitioning and talking about gender gender dysphoria transition transitioning or the existence of non-straight people doesn't train your children to be or do those things it just teaches them that the world isn't as binary as you were taught and that's a good thing so i think that's all i can say on the subject uh, make sure to support your local pride groups or uh, anyone who is helping LGBTQ plus kids uh, or anybody on the LGBTQ plus spectrum.